so uh, my previous video was about uh, a case right but in that video the character didn't actually have IK bones included well this character has so I'm going to show up, show you how to do it with IK bones it's going to be a little bit easier because you don't have to create the bones yourself so um, I'm going to really quickly set up this uh, parent all the bones and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, these bones, you want the parent to the normal root, uh, both of these bones, because the root is going to be that one bone that's going to control every everything, uh, it's a really important bone, don't ever delete something, by the way. Okay, I'm going to turn off this music because it's getting on my nerves. Okay. Um, so we have this thing i just realized i picked a really complicated model because there's a lot of bones in here but that doesn't matter uh we oh we can we can do what we can do right now is go ahead and uh search for this and you'll see that it's going to select everything that has an L in the name. Uh, you can. Oh, we need to go in, into edit mode though. We can go ahead and select that. And then we have all of the L's. Uh, basically, all of the left bones. And we can delete those. Uh, now, we want to look for this knee bone and extrude it uh, by pressing E and then moving it or pressing G uh, Z uh, I mean Y or just extruding it using this too doesn't really matter um, you want to unselect connected and uh, parent it to the foot root you can also parent it to the normal root but it really doesn't make a difference so just like that um you want to uncheck the form by the way that's not really necessary because it, it basically doesn't have any what the, the form does is just it tells the bone where to uh affect the weight paint and if you this this thing doesn't even have uh weight paint uh, weight paint so he's experimented to it so uh, we're gonna call this IK for uh, leg R. Uh, be sure to add an R underscore R at the end because that is really necessary. There we go. Uh, and we need to grab this bone and extrude it like that and by the way press um, 3 on your numpad not just 3 on uh, your main just 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no just press 3 on your numpad okay so this is already unchecked from the connective we want to parent this to the Iker hand root and check the form I don't know why but I just do that all the time and we want to call this one IK for arm R. Uh, that's basically it for those bones. We have a hand R and a hand IK gun. And the, this one, this one's really important. Don't delete it or something. Uh, it, this is meant for if you want to move a gun while uh, using both hands, while uh, having both hands on the gun, 
uh, you can move this bone and uh, both hands will move and your gun will stay in the same place if you burn the gun to the bones okay but you want to grab the uh, IK hand R then shift click again and then you will select the hand R press shift I and it will automatically set up an IK for you you want to set this to 3 and check that uh, check that a pull target yeah uh, pull arm the bone we just made it might look like this so we want to change that to 180 and we want to do the same thing for the foot like okay, a foot shift click I shift I uh, check rotation set that set that pull leg R and you've got it set up basically uh, as you can see if you select the IK hand R you can move it like that just the way you want it this uh, method by the way is really handy really convenient for animation this is what I use all the time uh, this looks like we have to rotate this one too there we go didn't know how I did notice <laughs> Okay, and now we want to go ahead and select the, this half or just everything and just wait. You can, because we select deleted all of the left bones, we can symmetrize it and it does it automatically. I don't know if, if, if I'm saying that wrong. Symmetrize. I think that's how you say it. Uh, and it will look like that. The only thing you have to do is set this to zero and set this to zero. And there you've got your model. All clean, beautiful. Except for these, some of these bones are going to be parented the wrong way. So you want to, um, to parent them the right way. <laughs> uh yeah okay that's right it is all looking pretty good because for this bone we want to set this to psi l and a few other bones but that's basically how you do it yeah see ya